Welcome back to Dark Corner's Lockdown, staying alert for movies to stream while the cinemas are closed. Tonight's episode, The Vast of Night. New to Amazon Prime is The Vast of Night, the debut feature of Andrew Patterson, deliberately evoking memories of The Twilight Zone. The basic setup of The Vast of Night is classic B-movie. Small town, 1950s, teenage leads. Yeah, I'm not now, nor have I ever been a member of the Communist Party. And of course... People are saying there's something in the sky. But this doesn't feel like a 1950s B-movie. It feels like the 1950s, as if the camera has just wandered in. Although, admittedly, a 1950s realised by Aaron Sorkin, as lead characters Faye and Everett walk and talk their way through the opening 20 yeah, minutes. Okay? Oh, can you walk? Yeah. And stick, we'll walk. Just let me look at this frame. I liked this opening, but I did think it outstayed its welcome by about five minutes, as if the director was a bit too in love with his own idea. But any misgivings I had vanished when switchboard operator Faye begins to hear strange things. Hello? This whole section is one uninterrupted nine and a half minute shot, and it's brilliant. What's going on? I don't know. I don't know. Nothing. A real credit to actor Sierra McCormick and to Patterson for going through with it, even holding the shot when nothing is happening on screen. Driving your tanks home and piling up some heat. That's the word. It's a reminder that cinematic storytelling sometimes means knowing when just to watch, and it is very tense. Not that the whole film is like this. When the camera moves, it moves. When it cuts, he's from out of town. It sounds like a man knows something. Put him through now, Faye. Come on, please. Sir, we are connecting you now. It cuts, and then. Then when we arrived, it was still desert scrubs and flatlands. Three times it fades to black, leaving us with just voices for up to 90 seconds. Because what's important is what's being said, and you are going to damn well listen. It was coming from thousands of feet higher than anything could fly. This phone call triggers what we might call the adventure. Billy, what do you think it'll do if we can find it and play it? But things still remain down to earth, and what I would call procedural, as the kids follow leads. I know what you're looking for. I don't. And interview people. They took my son, and no one has ever believed me. Chipping away at something they don't understand. A Tillywood Nanetzel. The film doesn't shy away from its influences. The radio station, WOTW, is a reference to the War of the Worlds, and the town is called Cayuga, which was the production company that made The Twilight Zone. But more than anything, this feels like someone watched Invasion of the Saucer People and said, I wonder what would actually happen. Because something's up there now. For the record, this is way cheaper than it looks. And it looks great. I love the quick-fire overlapping dialogue. What? There is something in the sky. We followed it from Colt Canyon. I, I'm, I'm going to see this. I'm going with my Gerald now. Please call me Gerald. I love the claustrophobic scenes in the radio station and switchboard. Can you tell me if you've ever heard this sound before? It evokes the 50s. We've just never had a black collar before. Without ramming the period down our throats. You need a cigarette. Everyone smokes through the microphone. I did find it meandered a bit in the last third, and maybe, for me, it would have worked better as the TV show it pretends to be, remaining in those limited settings. But by that time, I was invested enough in the characters to go with them. I don't mean that in a way to get your feelings hurt. Don't hurt my feelings. OK, good, because I hurt girls' feelings a lot. As someone who watches a lot of B-movies, I really like the concept here. It's not perfect, but it's very well made. The performances are outstanding. And there's a couple of scenes that rank among the best I've watched for a while, and honestly, would work as short films in themselves. Thanks for watching. Have you seen The Vast of Night yet? What did you think? And what other B-movie genres could get a naturalistic overhaul? Let us know in the comments below.